This is our Salesforce uh, Lite program. Uh, we like it because it's a scaled down version of our full blown version and uh, it's a much more cost effective uh, option for some people. Um, in this version they can put in their information so we're going to fill in a salesperson and uh, if there is a uh, customer information that you want to pull from a new from a database already you certainly can do that uh, this can all be tied to a back-end database if you desire to do that um, in this case we're going to use a local restaurant okay. um, And seventy five zero four. Whoops. Zero four thirty nine thirty two. One of the nice features about this is um if as if you do want to tie that in, you certainly can, but this has validation rules such that you can't type things into the wrong uh, field it will give you errors on this and, and not let you do that sort of thing. Um, um, so we we'll come down here. Oops. They have a spot to enter their PO number. We have the usual things that you expect in applications today, like pop up date choosers. Where you can ship it via. If you want to have the build to being the same as just ship to for customers that have multiple locations, you can certainly do that. You can put in special instructions. Almost everyone seems to have those. Deliver. Oops. Uh, down here you can have terms, special prints, special instructions. These X sections are all, all editable if you don't want them to, uh, you don't want some or you want some others, we just hide or show that information. If you have special prints and you have art or plate charges, you can put that information in. Uh, if you try to enter in stuff like that, obviously that's a problem. Um, and the system won't let you do that. It, it, it will make you uh, make sure you put the right information in. Um, custom likes blue ink. Then come down here to the vendor field. You can select from a drop down of pre existing vendors that you may already have and put in, it automatically gives your vendor number. You can have the uh, vendor part number and you can have your own part number then you can put in the quantity cases ten dollars if you have special loads or freight costs you can have those automatically calculated they can put in the margin have it show the price or you can change the price and have it change the margin so either way works uh, then if you want to route this to a special buyer you can do that um, and it'll do that sort of thing if you wanted to put a description in there you can put that in there a large brown bag so if it were an item that was a non-stock item and you wanted to make sure you had that you could do it that way too um, you can also use the Google type ahead type of a thing and uh, put in the information that way as well. Uh, notice it will give you the line total for this line taking the quantity 10 cases times your price and multiplying it out um, and then it will give you your order total down at the bottom so if you say well I want uh, 15 cases of this and they're $12 uh, we can put that at a 35% margin. There's our price. We're going to have Bob buy this. 
and uh, uh, there is our total for the whole order. So we've got $425 and we have down at the bottom we can then go on and make a new order or we can back up to our existing one. At this point we can save that order or we can print the order and we also have the option of emailing the order. Mine will email to a predetermined that you can see it'll put a predetermined person. This is coming from me, it'll go to somebody else. Um, and uh, you have the option to automatically route that to whomever you, you choose. That's really it. Um, so I think that this will work pretty well. And uh, let me know if we can help. Thank you.